Welcome to Rebuilding a Model Steam Plant, Part 24. An interesting way to mount the gas burner which keeps the heat away from the base plate. There are two methods which are identical, except for the width of the 1 8 of an inch brass angle. Here I show the smaller of the two mounts. In the previous episode I showed the drilling and threading of the holes in the two pieces of brass. The two outer holes are for two 5BA brass dome head bolts. I've just bought these via eBay and they should arrive today or tomorrow. Why didn't I buy them from my usual supplier, Blackgates Engineering? Well, that's quite simple, they didn't have any. The simplest method to mount the burner is to just use these pieces of brass angle the other way around and bolt them through the steel base plate. I'm doing it a different way. Not only are the two pieces of brass angle the other way around, I'm going to elevate them. This is a Bix type gas burner and they do tend to overheat. As the video progresses it will become apparent what I'm doing and right at the end I modify the method. It's a bit of an experiment. As usual I put the parts in position and draw around them with a felt tip pen which seems to be not a very good technical method but it works for me. Before committing myself, and I don't mean to an asylum, I always use a ruler to verify the positions of the lines. In this part of the clip I'm just doubling the lines to make them a bit more visible. It's very important when fitting a gas burner to a steam engine boiler, especially these Stuart boilers which are of the Babcock type, with tubes hanging down, that the burner is in the correct position. Luckily, to illustrate this, I have a 501 boiler with one of the side plates missing. So what I'm going to do is position it over the burner, like this. I'll rotate it so you can see it more clearly. As you can clearly see in these images, the burner is more or less equidistant between both ends of the boiler. So once I found the position, I marked it with a felt tip pen and lifted off the boiler. I'd just like to mention that this is not the boiler I'm going to use. And now it's time for a felt tip pen frenzy. Apart from the lines, there are some large dots on the base plate, and I'm going to use these to make it easier to see the scribed lines that I'm currently marking with a needle file. The positions of these scribed lines were in the correct position, so I drilled some holes through the plate and countersunk the holes from the other side. Originally, by the way, I threaded the pieces of brass angle. I thought I'd mention that for any viewers who haven't seen the previous episode. These are 5BA machine screws with countersink heads. And here I'm checking the tightness of the bolts because I don't want them to be tight because if they're tight I can't screw them into the brass angle. Once I was happy that the steel nuts that are fitted to these machine screws on the other side were not tight, I screwed them into the brass angle from underneath as shown here. This clip should give you the general idea. The original plan was to shorten the machine screws so that they were level with the brass and then sit the burner in position, but as it turns out, I had a better idea. It seemed pointless to have threaded the pieces of brass angle, so I drilled the holes clearance size for 5BA. Once I fitted four 5BA nuts to secure the brass angle to the machine screws, everything looked okay until I fitted the burner. This burner is very rounded. The last burner like this that I used was perfectly square. It's not a massive problem. Don't forget I'm using the smaller pieces of brass angle. I'm going to show a variant on this. I won't be showing all the manufacturing of it, but I'll show an alternative method using the larger one inch wide piece of brass angle. Still the same thickness, one eighth of an inch, but one inch in depth. Some viewers may have noticed that this video is slightly shorter than normal and that's because this week I have appointments at the doctors for various medical conditions. Don't you just love getting old? But at least I'm not dead yet. That will be in the next episode including the drilling of four mounting holes in the base plate and then painting it. But that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.